Well, was it a true threat or just a joke? A jury now deliberating in the trial of Daniel Baker. He is accused of inciting violence at Florida's Capitol back in January. Baker deciding to take the stand today, testifying in his own defense for nearly two hours. Capital City correspondent Monica Casey in the courtroom following this again for us today. Monica, what's the very latest? Well, the jury left here just a few moments ago. They only deliberated for about an hour before deciding they would need to reconvene tomorrow morning at 9 for further deliberation. Now, testimony today wrapped up right around 3 o'clock with each side then making closing statements. The government arguing this is about accountability, saying Baker knew exactly what he was doing and he had the intent, the means, and the opportunity to carry out a true threat. The prosecution also arguing Baker's testimony today was not credible. Now, during his testimony, Baker saying many of his posts were just jokes. In particular, he says text messages about, quote, encircling protesters were sent when he was, quote, smoking a bunch of weed. In closing arguments, the defense saying, yes, Baker has posted reckless things on social media, but no, he is not a violent person. The defense also argues for this to be a true threat, Baker had to know that what he was urging was unlawful and his attorney says Baker thought he had a lawful right to defend the Capitol. Now the prosecution also pointing out a specific video today though in which Baker is printing that call to arms flyer. They say if that flyer wasn't important, why bother filming the video of it being printed? The jury comes back tomorrow morning at 9. We will keep you updated. Live at the federal courthouse, Monica Casey, WCTV, Eyewitness News. Okay, Monica, thank you.